we can categorize most hydraulic circuits into two basic types, open center or closed center. The directional control valve actually designates the type of circuit. Open center circuits are defined as circuits which route pump flow back to the reservoir through the directional control valve during neutral or dwell time. This type of circuit typically uses a fixed volume pump, such as a gear pump. If flow were to be blocked in neutral or when the directional control valve is centered, it would force flow over the relief valve. This could possibly create an excessive amount of heat and would be an incorrect design. A closed center circuit blocks pump flow at the directional control valve, in neutral or when centered. We must utilize a pressure compensated pump such as a piston pump which will de-stroke. A three position directional control valve incorporates a neutral or center position which designates the circuit as open or closed depending on the interconnection of the P and T ports and designates the type of work application depending on the configuration of the A and B ports. The four most common types of three position valves are open type, closed type, float type, and tandem type. This open type configuration connects P, T, A and B together, giving us an open center and work ports that drain to the tank. This configuration is often used in motor circuits to allow freewheeling in neutral. This closed type configuration blocks P, T, A and B in neutral, giving us a closed center. This center type is common in parallel circuits where we want to stop and hold a load in mid-cycle. This float type configuration blocks P while interconnecting A and B ports to T. Because P is blocked, the circuit becomes closed center. This center type is commonly used in parallel circuits where we are freewheeling a hydraulic motor in neutral. This tandem type configuration connects P to T while blocking work ports A and B. With P and T connected, we have an open center circuit. This center type is used in connection with a fixed displacement pump. Because A and B are blocked, the load can be held in neutral. When specifying a directional control valve type, one must consider the type of circuit required and the work application. In this learning lab, you will learn the correct combination of directional control valves and pumps used within a system. Choose the correct directional control valve and pump from the choices below by dragging and dropping them in place. Press the operate button to see if you are correct.